you took something I thought I'd never like and you made me really enjoy it. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 11 of Supernatural Season 12. And this was really good for several reasons. This is technically, in my opinion, the, the third in the odd misfortune that happens to Dean trilogy. The first one being Yellow Fever, the second one being when he became old, and this one. In this episode, Dean is losing his memory due to a curse that he got from the witches. The witches, the villains of this episode don't really matter. It is the drama and the characters between Sam, Dean, and Rowena. Now, Rowena has been a character that I've been really on the fence with for a long time. I hated her when she was first introduced. She was okay, in my opinion, season 11. And this was the probably the best episode she's ever had. And it's also one of the best episodes that the brothers have ever had. There's a lot of emotional content in this episode that reminded me, oddly enough, of the kind of a polar opposite of the Mystery Spot episode. Sam is dealing with the idea that Dean is going to forget who he is and he's going to forget his family, he's going to forget, Dean, he's going to forget his brother, and then eventually he's going to die. And the thing that I kept on thinking throughout this episode is this is something that I fear. This is not just a, a curse, but it's something that people deal with. People have seen this happen to their elderly family members. The idea that dementia or Alzheimer's setting in and the idea of not them forgetting everything but just forgetting who their family members are is horrifying in itself. So taking not only a personal and realistic aspect and putting a supernatural twist on it was actually something really smart. And this episode, again, was actually really well constructed. We saw the humor in the elements, but there was a lot of character, like the scene where Dean is looking at himself in the mirror and trying to memorize things was incredibly powerful. I was uh, surprised. I didn't think these boys really had this much sort of in them anymore, and it surprised me. Now, admittedly, how the episode ends was kind of, yeah, I thought there was a little bit of silliness here. The episode takes a little bit to start, but really, I liked this episode. This is actually probably my favorite episode of this season, by far. I think that the elements were really well done. The conversations between Dean and Rowena, not only about their moral decisions of what they've done in the past, but then kind of what they have meant to try and be to themselves and to other people, was also really cool. The, the connections that came up in this episode are things that I never thought I would see in this show. And it made me like Rowena as a character, and I never thought I would ever like her as much as I did in this episode. The characters were great. The story concept of what was happening to Dean was great. There was a fantastic emotional element. And there was humor when he's getting the post-it notes in the car. And when he holds up the post-it note at the end with witch killing bullets while holding the gun, that was funny. But also, as I said, this episode hit you on an emotional level because it was talking about something that we can relate to. The thing that I thought was a kind of a little bit of an odd addition, again, this reminded me of how Yellow Fever ends. They have him with clips of him uh, going on the, the rodeo bull, all the while showing clips of him in the past of him having his memory loss. I don't know, I thought that was kind of weird. but. That's Roosters, ladies and gentlemen. That is Pit Meadows. If you ever wanted to go to one of the worst bars, in my opinion, it's Roosters. But then that's Pit Meadows. There's nothing else to do in Pit Meadows except go to Roosters. Thank God I don't live in Pit Meadows. Anyways, I'm going to give this episode a 7 out of 7. This is by far, in my opinion, the best episode of season 12 so far. I liked episode 4 because it was reminiscent of the past, but this episode was a character episode and it reminded me so much of Baby. Not in terms of how it was made, but just the idea of the brothers, their connection, and the fact that these are human beings. They're not just caricatures who wear terrible plaid shirts. Anyways guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.